The simplest and easiest way to get the information that you scraped out of ScraperWiki is to download a spreadsheet as a CSV. If you want it as a full database, you can also download SQLite 3 Database. But why stop there? There's so much more you can do right here on the site. If you want to dig deeper into your data or create some fancy views, you can do so right here in ScraperWiki. If you scroll down, I'm going to create a new view from this data. Seeing as it doesn't lend itself to mapping or anything too fancy, and I'm not really bothered with HTML at the moment, I'm going to create a general SQLite view. And this suits my purpose because I want to know exactly what's in here. So before I do anything, I'm going to give it a name. And make sure I save it. Now, I just click on the View tab, and I'll view this as a full page. And this is it here. This is my SQLite, and it gives me an example table where I have all my headings and 10 entries. But for this piece of information, which is hospitality and gifts to special advisors of number 10, I would probably like to find out how which are the top 10 special advisors for receiving gifts. So. To select, I want to select the name of the special advisor. And you can click it here, and it goes into the select. But because it's got spaces in it, I need to make sure that I give it back ticks. And to see how many times it appears in my data set, I'm going to use the function count. To make sure it gives me the table, I'm going to group by special advisor, putting in my back ticks. And I'm going to order by the count and give me the top 10. So all I do is hit query. And here it is. Top 10 special advisors that get gifts. So this gives me the full query. And I can use this to get exactly what I want out of the data store using our API by copying and pasting and then going to our API. Now, to get your data out of ScraperWiki using our API, you just go into the scraper and you hit Explore with ScraperWiki API. This takes you to our API page. Now, here on the right-hand column, these are the formats which you can get it out. I want CSV, so I hit CSV and it goes into Format. The name of my scraper is already in there, and now if I just want the information that I queried in my SQL view, I copy and then now I paste the query that I had put in. And to download it, I just go to this link here. This is right at the top of the page. And this is where you can download your data. 